Some might consider X670 motherboards to be irrelevant when it comes to the newer Ryzen 9000 CPUs with the introduction of the X870 and X870e. However, with how great of a value most X670 boards represent, that's not the case. The Gigabyte X670 Aorus Elite is proof that a smaller number doesn't always translate to a worse experience. Sure, you get fewer PCIe 5.0 lanes for the graphics card and storage, but for the majority of gamers and traditional users, this won't matter. You still get PCIe 5.0 support on one of the four M2 slots, and PCIe 4.0 for the by 16 graphics card slot. So, in real-world usage, you're not missing out on a lot in the first place. Compared to its predecessor, the X570 Aorus Elite AX, the X670 Elite features the new AM5 socket, a significantly better VRM configuration, an extra M2 slot, and much more. It's rare to see a manufacturer provide such significant upgrades in almost every way, but the new chipset certainly helps here. Design-wise, the X570 Aorus Elite looks noticeably different from previous Aorus Elite motherboards. It features a matte black PCB with light grey accents on the heatsinks and rear I.O. cover. A gigantic Aorus Eagle logo sits proudly on the VRM heatsink, and there's minimal branding on the chipset and M2 heatsinks. Unfortunately, if you're looking for any sort of integrated RGB, this board won't satisfy your needs. That's not inherently a bad thing, but considering that a lot of motherboards have that nowadays, it might disappoint some people. On the other hand, I do have to appreciate the easy latch design on the M2 and PCIe slots. These quick-release latches are easy to work with and make the building process much easier. You'll also find some debugging LEDs at the bottom that light up during the post process. This helps a lot in troubleshooting any potential issues with your system. In terms of performance, this motherboard is no slouch. It supports DDR5 kits at up to 8000 megatransfers per second with overclocking, so you won't have trouble with high performance RAM kits. The memory training times are great, and you won't have any problems with boot times. I also found the 20-phase VRM setup to be highly impressive. Admittedly, I think it's quite overkill for any mainstream motherboard, especially considering it's stronger than many X870 boards. However, I can't complain when we're getting such incredible stability for a cheap price. Needless to say, this board can handle any high-end processor with ease. However, the PCIe x16 slot only supports PCIe 4.0, not PCIe 5.0. Admittedly, there's a negligible difference in performance when running your graphics card in PCIe 5.0 over PCIe 4.0. With that said, it's great to see that at least one of the M2 slots supports PCIe 5.0 speeds. For wireless connectivity, you get Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. You also get a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port for fast and stable wired connection. As for the rest of the ports, you get a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, plenty of 3.2 Gen 1 and Gen 2 Type-A ports, HDMI out, and a dedicated USB for flashing BIOS. Of course, you also get a dedicated BIOS flashback button that's common with most mid-range boards these days. It's worth noting that if you spend a bit of money, you can get Gigabyte's own X870 Aorus Elite AX. However, I believe the X670 version is the better value. Sure, the X870 version has more PCIe 5.0 lanes for your drives and graphics card, but that won't matter much if you're a traditional gamer. The more noticeable addition is USB 4, which will matter more to people dealing with high-speed data transfers. If none of that matters to you, and it won't if all you care about is gaming, the X670 is a much better value proposition. You can spend the extra money on a graphics card, more storage, or even faster memory. All of these are more important than PCIe 5.0 lanes for the average gamer, and this is why I prefer this X670 motherboard over some X870 options. 
Simply put, the X670 Aorus Elite AX is the best overall motherboard for AM5 CPUs like the Ryzen 7 9700X. It has all the ports you could need, an overbuilt VRM setup, and performance that's ready for next-gen components. It's a fantastic buy, despite being an older chipset. I highly recommend it for any high-performance gaming build. To sum up, what I like is the low price making AM5 builds affordable, the overbuilt VRM configuration, a whopping 4 M2 slots, and the easy latch design on PCIe and M2 slots. On the downside, only the top by 16 slot supports PCIe 5.0, and there are no USB 4.0 ports. Ratings. Design. 8 out of 10. Features. 8.5 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Power delivery, 9 out of 10. Value, 9.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. If you're serious about maximizing your PC building experience, there's so much more to explore. Check out more of my videos packed with suggestions and reviews to help you stay ahead in your PC building.